Holy Wire Mod here. This is going to be video 2B in the How to Build series where I'm going to be continuing automatic hydraulic doors and we're going to be adding some security functions as well and getting rid of the spaz that you see right here. So let's start by adding a very basic method of security which I'm going to add a toggle button. So we're going to say button and you remember this if statement determining if the door opens or not. So when distance is less than 100, we want the door to open, but we also want button to equal zero, which is going to permit the door to open as well. So let's go grab a button, which is toggle, and we'll wire it up. So there we go. So when button's down, door opens, button's up, door no longer opens if the distance updates. Now, there's a little bit more complicated method that you can use. Um, like, uh, if you remember from video 14B, we went over whitelist. So we're going to use that by setting up an array. So set up array whitelist, and arrays are covered in uh, expression 2 tutorial A and B, or 6A and B. And then we are going to set up this whitelist equal to an array. Uh, set full of entities. Now these entities are going to be you and your friends or the people that you want to go through your door. And then if you recall we're going to use find include. We're going to use entities instead which is going to take an array of entities which we're going to use whitelist. And it's going to add them to allow this find by class to uh, add these players or allow these players to walk through. So, since I'm on the white list, I can walk through. Now, what if I was on the black list? Well, black list does not allow these players to go through the door specifically. So if you want to actually ban people from going through your door, you would use the black list instead. And as you can see, since I'm on the black list, the door is not opening for me. All right, but we want to be on the white list. All right, so we're going to put include right here. All right. Now, if you recall from... Um, Expression 2 tutorial 5b, I went over other conditional values. So you can actually say if the distance is less than 100 and I am crouching. So if you want to add like a secret door somewhere that only activates when the player is crouching, you can do that as well. And there are a bunch of other um, conditions. So in general, you're pretty much going to set an AND condition um, or some form of Boolean algebra from Expression Tutorial 2 and expect, uh, series. So or you can um, put whatever you really like there. So that's going to cover some of the basics. Now if you want to get rid of that twitching in the door, um, you can also put find result 1 here instead of find result 2. And that's going to set the distance formula to this door instead. And when your distance from, or this panel instead, not door. Um, so when your distance from this panel is less than 100, this is going to slide open. and when it's at that 100 line, it's not going to spaz out anymore. Or if you're not going to have a panel there, but your Expression 2 chip is going to be close, you can actually say that um, player is going to be equal to closest to entity position, and the vector right here, you're just going to place that door with entity as well, and we won't actually need this up here. So now it's going to be based on my distance from the Expression 2 chip. Alright, so that's going to cover a bunch of the stuff you need to know for making a door lockable and automatic and all that fun stuff. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll catch you next time.